Hello everyone, Proof.Face back. Please check some review on the fundamentals of mathematics. We are going to review this time some mathematical terms, mathematical concepts that we are going to use in solving any problem in mathematics. So we have here, before we are going to create a program, so we are going to review some algebraic expression here, the concepts of math. So we have given are the algebraic expression 3x squared minus x plus 5. We have 3x squared. We have negative x and 5. So we are going to identify what is a term. These are all terms. These are all three given example. Four given examples here are terms. So term is a constant, a variable, or a product of a constant and a variable. And then we have the term 3x squared. 3 is called the numerical coefficient and x squared is the literal coefficient. Another in the negative x, x negative 1 there is the numerical coefficient and the literal coefficient is x. Another example here, review, 5 is the term which is a constant. 5 is considered a constant and the numerical coefficient is a constant or a number. Literal coefficient is a variable including the exponent. And the word coefficient alone is referred to as numerical coefficient. And we are all going to review also the different degree. We have a base. We, are, we all know that in the x squared, we have the base and the exponent. In the degree, the highest or the sum of the exponents of the variable in each term. So we have an example, 3x squared minus x plus 5. So the degree here is to the highest exponent of the variable. So if there are other expression or other terms, 3x squared y cubed minus x4 y cubed, the highest degree, the degree here is 7 since you're going to add the exponent of x, which is 4, and the exponent of y, which is 3. So total of 7. Similar terms, another review, having the same literal coefficient like uh, 3x squared and negative 5x squared. They have the same exponent and the same variable. But 5x and 5x squared is not similar. Another 2x cubed y squared and negative 4x squared y cubed are not similar since the exponent of x is not the same as exponent of y. Okay. Another review, polynomial. What is a polynomial? It's a kind of algebraic expression where each term is any of the following. There's a constant, there's a variable or product of a constant and a variable, which is as the exponent, non-negative exponent. Non-negative. So a polynomial can be a monomial, trinomial, or binomial. What is not a polynomial if the exponent is not a whole number? So the exponent of 0 is always 1. So the variable is inside the radical sign, like a square root of x. It is x to the power 1 half. It's not a whole number exponent. If you have the variable is in the denominator, so 1 over x, that is x to the power of negative 1. So it's not a polynomial. It must be a polynomial whole number exponent. We have the kinds of polynomial according to the number of terms. If you have one term, that's monomial. Two terms, binomial. Three terms, trinomial. We have multi for four or more terms. We have also according to the degree, types of polynomial according to the degree. A constant is a degree zero, linear degree one, a quadratic which is an ellipse, a circle or a parabola that's quadratic, the degree is two. A cubic is a polynomial of degree three. We have the hyperbola. A quartic is a polynomial of degree 4, and a quintic is a polynomial of degree 5. And the next have no universal name, you can just name as polynomia. Okay, so we have a quiz. You answer this one, a true or false, 1 to 7. You're going to answer and turn in in our Google Classroom. That is 1 to 7 exam. A 1 to 8. So we have 1 to 8. You're going to answer. It's either true or false. A trinomial is also a polynomial. A polynomial is also a trinomial. The leading coefficient of the polynomial 3x4 minus 3x squared plus x minus 4x squared is 3. A polynomial may be both kintic and binomial. 8 is a term. 8 is a polynomial. In 8x squared, x is constant term. x squared y plus xy minus y squared is a polynomial. And then after that, you're going to answer this performance task, a bingo card. You're going to complete the grid here, a uh, two-by-two challenge. You're going to give an example, no need to copy. You're going to give an example of a monomial. So you can give your own example. Complete this bingo card, and you are going to turn in in our uh, performance task. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe on my channel.